Hello and welcome back to Horton Skoda here in Lincoln, here for the second exciting instalment of Project X. I'm going to ask Darren in two minutes what these guys have been up to. But before we do that, we told you last week the VRS WRC that you saw in here last week was going to be the donor vehicle. Well, it's not. We've changed your minds. Can't let that fine piece of engineering go. It's 50 out of 100. You don't get them anymore. You can't buy them on eBay. But you can. They're a lot cheaper than I paid. But hey. So we're taking this now. Same car. Keith, show the guys at home. Show them the bottom VRS. Been rescued from the collection, but everything's similar, isn't it? To that WRC, yeah. so it should fit, shouldn't it? Any problems? No, no. Going nice and smooth, won't it? So, Darren, tell the folks back home what the guys have been doing so far and where we're up to. Well, we encountered a few more problems with the uh, tin worm. Um, Ian, talk us through what you've done. Rebuilt the inner wing, put a bit of strength back into it. Um, around the uh, strut as well, put a bit of metal underneath there, so now we've got some good strength into the inner wings. Took a lot more uh, work than we anticipated, but we've got it done now, so that's that section done for today. Thank you. Jamie, <laughs> what have you done? Not much really. I've done a bit of welding under here and on that side over there, that's about it for me. And pushed it out. Ben. Uh, removed the old engine mountings, ground those off, and took the airbox out, ready for trial fit of the new engine. Trevor? Uh, took the engine and the gearbox out, the truck. Well done, Trev. Well done, Trev. Gareth? I, um, I gave some serious strength and uh, helped push it out of the workshop. So. Is that all you've done? Yeah. It was 10 it metres. It was, it was, it was, it was a long 10 metres, though, and there was a kerb. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, mate. Doddy! What are you doing? My main job is to look after the budget, uh, get materials, well, materials I want to get for it, <laughs> uh, and just look after the money. Fisher? Sure. I've provided plenty of cups of room and plenty of uh, moral support when they've all needed it, to be honest. Is that yeah. all you've done? That's, that's all I've done, to be honest. Tea and, tea and support. Okay, thanks for that. Right, so what's the next stage? What are we doing next? Uh, Still a lot of work to do. Engine's coming out Saturday. It's not we're done by Christmas, we don't get a wriggle on, is it? Engine should be out Saturday. Uh, Jamie's coming in Saturday, aren't you, Jamie? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, engine will be out of that Saturday, uh, mounted Sunday if Ian and me turn up Sunday to do that. Um, near enough there after that. Just a case of welding it in, a bit of fettling, get it running. No power. Good. Spot on. Right. That's it. So next instalment, get another week or so's time. But before I go, there's one little thing these boys don't know, but a little surprise. Skoda every year run challenges. Technician of the year, parts advisor of the year, service advisor of the year. And I guys entered this year, Darren as you know from last week folks, technician of the year twice in a row. Yeah? It's not just a nice beard, that's, yeah, clever face, clever brain, pretty face, whatever you want to say. But by the way, so results are in, and I have the results in my hand. Assistant. You please hold that, that's what you're in for, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, fresh from Skoda UK, head office. We are Darren entering in. Yeah, it's good results, that in here, but I'll make it up as I go along. Darren entering in, the Technician of the Year final. Did he get in the top five? Or is he going to represent us at the national final? Yes, he is. Congratulations, Darren. Gareth Phillips from the series team. Did he make it into the top five? What do we think? Did he? No. 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 Well, he did. Congratulations, Darren. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. And last but not least, there was parts advisor. We've got two parts advisors. We've got Matt and we've got another Matt. Matt did them both. They both got through. Yeah. Well done, yeah. mate. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, but I know I would. <laughs> yeah, right. Easy as that. So, they are. Good project. Good team. Recognises key leading industry experts turning that piece of engineering into a fantastic, fantastic little project. I've run out of words to say, can't think of it else. So Keith, back to the sticker, we're done. See you next week.